everyone and welcome to a chit chatty q and A. I I am so looking forward to making this video today. I asked for some questions on Instagram and you guys delivered. There were so many ranging from wedding questions to Disney, home, wellness, updates for everything that you wanted to know. So today I'm going to be covering everything. It's been a while. It's been a really busy summer. Lots has been going on and there have been lots of new faces around here. So hi and welcome and big thank you for subscribing. If you don't know already, my name is Brogan and I make home lifestyle travel and Disney vlogs. We do a mixture of things on this channel. This summer has been everything from staycations to books to beach days. I've done loads of different things so make sure you go and check out all of the fun videos and as well as fun videos I've obviously been taking lots of photos. One of my favourite ways to preserve memories is actually by turning the photos into beautiful photo books. So that leads me nicely on to letting you know that today's video is perfectly sponsored by Popsa. I've been working with them for many years now. They are an incredible app where you can make your own photo books. As you can see, I have a big mix of books. <laughs> I absolutely love them. So before I show you my new book, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what Popsa is like. So as you can see, this is the app and they have cut the average time to make a photo book down from like two hours to an average of six minutes. So they use this really incredible tech where you can pick all your photos and then it will automatically drop it into the book and arrange it for you. However, what I like to do is actually just sit and change the layout. You can change colours organize the pictures, you can add text, there are so many templates and ways to make the book look beautiful. You can pick from soft or hardback books, you can change the quality of the pages. I actually go for the high gloss large books are my favourite. The paper feels amazing, oh it smells so good but like it's just lovely glossy pages. I honestly could sit here and look at these books for hours, they're so special, they have so many memories. A lot of people don't have the time or the patience to create attractive photos books so they have made it easier for you and created this incredible app that you can download and you can get 30% off with my code linked on screen and below so if you're interested and you want to design a photo book for yourself to preserve any memories you've had this summer if you've had any postponed weddings missed memories delayed holidays all of that you can cherish all of those memories into a special book they make amazing gifts as well we actually have just bought our new one which I'll show you but we've given one to my nanny too and you can get gift boxes which you we've done for this book which is actually from our engagement earlier this year. The gift box is so so nice so you can just give it to somebody like this and then let me show you my newest book that we've made because I love it. The good thing about this book is I was actually able to use the new feature that Popster have added where you can share books so you can either just give somebody the link or you can allow them to add photos so if your partner or your friend has loads of photos on their phone you can share the link and people can add their own in which is so good. I actually just sent it to Benji before it went to print um, so he could have a little look at it and just tell me if there was anything he wanted to add or change because this is our special engagement book so let me just quickly show you a little bit. What I've loved doing is actually adding a bit of text on the bottom so that I can remember what we did, where we stayed. I was so happy to be on the trip that I started crying at breakfast. So that was a memory that we just added in here because I was so happy to be on this holiday. Um, so there's a lot of photos in here that I don't add onto Instagram that I just want to preserve for us. But also some of them are so beautiful that it'd be a shame not to have them printed. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Look at this, this was the aquarium. So we've got loads of incredible photos at the Atlantis Aquarium. Because we had a photographer capture the moment, I actually had all of these photos printed. Like it would have just been such a shame not to have had them somewhere. We don't want all of them on the wall, obviously. So having them in this book is so magic. And then when our family and friends can come over, they can look at the book and see all the photos of this experience. Obviously getting engaged was such a big milestone for us and we wanted to preserve and remember those memories forever. So now we can cherish them and look back and I actually have this clip of Benji. He opened the book the other day, gave it to him in the lounge and his face, like his little grin when he was looking back was so, so sweet. So yeah, it's such a lovely way to be able to um, look back on the trip. I'm gonna keep on making my books and probably use my own discount code so if you want to get 30% off that'll be below for you. Big thank you to Popster for sponsoring today. Now we'll crack on with the questions. I think it's only apt that we'll probably start 
with wedding questions. The first one that came in said, you say you've booked your wedding, any details that you can share with us? And this one was quite similar. It said, can you give us any clues into your wedding plans? Congratulations, by the way. Thank you so much. So we have been engaged for six months now. Can you believe it? It has completely flown by. We have been very much loving living in our little engagement bubble. However, we are very far along with wedding planning. We knew very early on, very quickly what we wanted. And if our engagement is anything to go by, which was very unconventional, untraditional, I knew it was gonna happen. We designed the ring together. Um, our wedding is also going to be quote unquote untraditional. I think there's a lot of pressure and expectation around weddings and I would love to actually do a whole video about this um, but Benji and I are, we've said eloping but eloping has a lot of different meanings from the bride and groom traditionally would run away in secret. Now eloping in a more modern sense is sort of um, going away either just the two of you or with a very small um, group with you um, but the only things I can really tell you and it's not because, I'll be honest, I share everything about my life online pretty much. There's only a few things I hold back for myself. I'm only gonna be engaged for a really short period of my life, like two years, and I really want to enjoy it with Benj for a minute. We're really loving having the plans, talking about them with our friends and family, making them feel important and involved in it because we are going to be getting married abroad. So I have talked about that, but we are going away <laughs> and we know exactly where and when we have a date, we have everything sorted. And then when we come home, we're gonna be having a wedding sort of party. So that's all I can really tell you, but it's more a case of like, I just am enjoying not having to share it just yet. And um, I'm gonna start the process of wedding dress shopping and I'm going to look at wedding shoes in a couple of weeks because I've booked an appointment somewhere. I also have tickets to the national wedding show that I'm gonna go to on my own in London and I'm gonna vlog that day and bring you along with me. So we're gonna start the wedding process of me sharing and revealing more of our plans. But for now, all I can say is that it's somewhere I haven't been before. It's not Disney. <laughs> I think a lot of people are just assuming we're getting married in Disney because we love Disney so much, but um, it is gonna be very different. I think a lot of you will be quite surprised, but um, that's as much as I wanna share for now. Will you be sharing much of your wedding journey or will you choose to keep it private? Okay, I've basically answered that one already, but we will be sharing the wedding, I think. I don't know if we'll share the wedding day, actually. We haven't fully decided. We'll obviously document everything. I find it quite hard to find the perfect balance on what I do and don't share, but we will see. I want to bring you along for as much as possible, even if I share it after. What are you most excited about for your wedding? Oh, I'm, I'm so excited for so many things, but I will just give things away, I think. Um, I just love the idea of being Benji's wife and what marriage means to us both and um, having an epic honeymoon because we'll already be away so that's exciting. I'm just really looking forward to being in a little magic love bubble with him like how incredible it's gonna be so good I just can't wait. Have you been wedding dress shopping yet? Is there a style of dress you have in mind? Good question. Uh, no, I haven't been wedding dress shopping yet. I want to take my mum and Benji with me, which even when I said that on Instagram and I've told friends, they found that very like, whoa, Benji's gonna see the dress before you get married. Yes, he is. I value his opinion. I want him to see it. I want him there with me. Um, it's his day as much as it is mine. And I want a same what he wears and I want him to have a same what I wear. Like I want him to see it. So yes, he is coming wedding dress shopping with me. I'm gonna book an appointment. I know exactly which uh, a bridal shop I want to go to. I used to drive past it every day for work. It's local. Um, so I will take you along for that experience. I don't know how flexible they'll be about me like filming in there and stuff, but I need to find out and ask if I can have permission. But I want to take my mum and Benj and I want to try on dresses that will be appropriate for the weather because it'll be quite warm where we're going. It's another hint, it'll be warm. I don't want a dress that's too poofy and big because I have to carry it in hand luggage. So it needs to be something that is light and cool and comfortable, but I honestly don't know what will look great on me. I'm prepared to try a variety of things, but in my head, something that's like V-neck plunge sweetheart neckline, maybe. Maybe little sleeves. I quite like lace, I quite like a bit of sparkle, um, you know, like subtle. In the, in the sunshine. Will you have a hen do? 
I actually had this conversation with some friends last night. I don't know. And it will make more sense later when I explain things more, but I, I don't know. There's actually a lot of reasons why I'm unsure. Originally, I was absolutely set, yes, I'm having one. I wanted to go to Disneyland Paris, and then I went there with Ben recently, and I had this realization that actually it would be really expensive for some of my friends, and I like being in Disney with Benj. Like, he is the magic. He is what makes the experiences so amazing to me, being with him, because I've been solo, I've been with other people, but being with Benj is what makes it so amazing. So I scrapped that idea, and then I've been looking into, like, smaller, low-key things, but I have a lot of mixture of friends from all walks of life, all corners of my life, some friends that are older, some that are family friends, YouTube friends, I have lots of male friends as well that I would want there, so I can't quite envision what it is um, that I want yet, I haven't thought it through to be honest, but um, I'm not sure, I would not be mad if I skipped it to be honest, it's not like the highest priority for me. I will come back to you when I tell you more details later on when I've made a decision, but I'm not quite sure yet. Let's move on to some Disney questions then because I got quite a lot of these. So are you planning on visiting every Disney or just stick with Florida and Paris? And someone else said, is Shanghai Disney on the cards at all? Would love them vlogs. So yes, of course, we'd love to visit them all. We have also done California. So we've done three, um, haven't done any of the Asian Disneylands. So of course it is high on our list to hopefully go one day. I've not done any of Shanghai or Hong Kong, Tokyo. I've not done any of those areas before. So if we do those trips, they're not just going to be Disney trips. They're going to need to be longer trips I'm gonna have to plan so that we can go and visit like Tokyo as well if that makes sense so um I need to do a lot more research uh, and I need to watch more vlogs but of course we would love to do it one day hopefully it's one of those like bucket list dream trips and goals eventually we will do them all yes <laughs> best way to book Disneyland Paris or the best company to use I'm just going to refer you straight to my guide to Disneyland Paris video that I made I'll put the card up here that covers everything and how I book personally I book the Eurostar direct with Eurostar themselves and then I book the hotel either directly with Disney or attraction tickets is the two places I would go for Disneyland Paris but you can book package deals with lots of different people travel agents you can book outside hotels obviously on site and then tickets as well so yeah there's lots of layers to it and I've covered it all in that video uh, what are you most looking forward to doing in Walt Disney World in December I am most looking forward to seeing Benji experience a lot of the new things through his eyes. He hasn't done Rise of the Resistance or Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, there's a lot of things that are new for him. Um, some snacks I, I want him to try, like the cheeseburger spring rolls. I think he's going to love them. So I'm really looking forward to just sort of vicariously living those first things through him again. It's just such a magic watching someone love something as much as you do and being the one to share it and show them. So that's what I'm most looking forward to. Oh, and also Christmas. Hello. <laughs> Christmas I never thought we had to go at Christmas I just never thought it would be in our plans but we've made it happen and so yes everything Christmas Christmas party Epcot is going to be so cool um seeing the gingerbread house um I just yeah I love it I'm so excited what has been your favorite Walt Disney Resort you've stayed in so far I have stayed in Caribbean Beach was my first then I did all-star sports and then boardwalk in uh, so I have done a deluxe value and a moderate and I would say the value all-star sports was my favorite for theming and literally the value it, it did what it needed to do we liked the on-site food the cocktails at the bar at the pool everything about that was great I ticked all the boxes for me I think boardwalk was incredible for the distance like how close it was to Epcot to be able to walk there Skyliner Hollywood Studios, I just loved it, but I thought it was quite expensive for what it was. I didn't really spend much time there. Caribbean Beach, I didn't like at all. It was way too big, loads of internal buses. Obviously they've got the Skyliner now and they have refurbed it since I stayed, but I didn't love Caribbean Beach, would never stay there again. But we're staying at Pop Century for our next trip and I think Pop is gonna tick all my boxes. I just think there's everything about Pop Century is just gonna be perfect. Would you ever plan a Disney trip with Adam and Gary even to Disneyland Paris? Yes, we did have a trip booked to Disneyland Paris. We have talked about this in live streams and stuff, but we had a trip booked in 2020 or 2021, I can't remember when it was. Obviously, 
it got cancelled. Benji was working so he wasn't able to come so it would have just been the three of us and I was so looking forward to spending a Disney trip with them but as time has gone on again and we've rebooked our own trips they've been going back out to Disney much sooner than I've been able to and it just hasn't lined up um, but yes of course 100% would love to trip with them soon. Gary and I talk about going to Disneyland Paris a lot but um, I think we'll make it work one day. I mean they are my friends that I made originally through our love of Disney so it makes the most sense and Victoria I should add my friend Victoria Disney Detail I did a like day with her in Animal Kingdom and I'd love to do a whole Walt Disney World trip with her um, and maybe Disneyland Paris with Adam and Gary. That's all the Disney questions. Let's move on to home questions, actually. Are you enjoying having Benji home more? Also, health-wise, how is he doing? Um, thank you so much. That's really kind. Lots of you asked about Benji, so I'll give you a brief update. He is doing okay. He is going for regular appointments. He's having lots of MRI scans, CT scans, x-rays. He had to run on a treadmill the other day, and they had him wired up to see how his heart was when he increased his heart rate um at the moment the tumor is not changing in size or shape so it's just sort of sitting doing nothing and so they're they're quite confident that it's okay because originally they wanted to operate and take it out but then the doctors changed their minds um which was a whole a whole thing for another day but um he's very very tired and um he's taking just some time away from work luckily he works for his dad's family business so he can just come and go or um bring down his hours or just decide what he wants to do later on but we've been in a very fortunate position that he's not had to immediately go out to work so he can be around for all his appointments supporting me he's been working with me and helping me do a lot of stuff which has been incredible so benji never went to uni or has had ever had an extended period away from work and so we have all supported and encouraged him and said that like he should have some time away it was an extremely traumatic experience for Benj what he went through and his mental health suffered a lot as well so we are just giving him the space that he needs and he's doing good in the sense that he some days are better than others um physically on his body and mentally on his mind but mostly he is just an incredible trooper and handling it all with such grace and I'm very proud of him it makes me really emotional because it's just such a personal <sighs> difficult thing to navigate but um <laughs> Yeah. Which West End show are you going to see next? So I'm seeing Frozen for the third time with my friend. End of September, middle of September. We've got some tour shows that we're seeing. I think The Lion King is coming to the Mayflower Southampton also in September. We've also got Newsies booked in December, Disney's Newsies. We watched it on Disney Plus and we were like, absolutely, when they release the tickets, we have to book that. So we're going up there in December, I think we've got tickets for, yeah. If you don't mind sharing, have you got any more home decor vlogs coming up like projects? Oh, another Brogan. <laughs> um, not currently, but we do need to do the downstairs bathroom. We've completely just ignored it and neglected it. It was like the last project that we need to do, really. Every, every other room is sort of pretty much done. We still want to work on the lounge. The lounge will be another fairly big one because we want to get the carpet redone and we want a new coffee table, coffee table and TV unit. So we need to sort of kind of redo that area. But other than that, the downstairs bathroom needs the biggest renovation because we need to get the floor ripped up, units out, painting. Um, so let me know in the winter when things are quieter. If you'd love a renovation video, maybe we can do like a budget bathroom makeover or something. I think that could be quite fun. So watch this space. I had quite a lot of work and career questions. So I thought I'd run by some of these because they're quite interesting. So what has been your top five achievements since starting YouTube? Turning my hobby into a business and being able to do this full time is my biggest achievement. Winning incredible awards like Cosmopolitan's Influencers Choice Award. That was an amazing achievement. So I'm really proud of those. I'm gonna hit 100,000 subscribers, which I think is a pretty amazing achievement, but I'm not quite there yet. I'm nearly there. The friendships I've made, I think is just incredible. Like the amount of support and the people, like I found my um, tribe. And then lastly, I think being able to expand so many of my skills in terms of filming, editing, photography, social media, um, accounting, I work with brands, I do a lot of the business side of things, negotiating, deals, contracts, legalities, I do so many different things in this role and it makes me so happy. So I'd say they're my biggest achievements probably, but I'm really proud of myself every day for how much I am able to learn and grow and overcome and put myself out there continually has been another sort of big thing. So I don't know, there's loads, I could literally talk to you all day because I'm very passionate about my job. Do you have a five year career plan? The answer is no, because 
my life and my career and my work changes so frequently. I have no idea what the future holds. Um, my plan is just to keep doing what I'm doing, keep sharing what I share and love and hopefully keep producing fun videos. I can't see why I would not be making videos. I've been doing it 11 years, so another five is nothing, isn't it? <laughs> What's your favorite vlog you've ever filmed and would you do a book club? Um, I don't think I'd do a book club because I really am just a very casual book reader and I don't like the pressure of having to keep up with like finishing it for a certain deadline. Like I don't like the idea of like, oh, we read this book this week or this month and it's like, oh, what if I take longer to read it? Like, don't know, I, I'm happy sharing my favorite reads, giving you my recommendations. Um, I'm on Goodreads and I share things on Instagram stories. So I'm happy with that right now. But I really like the idea of Brogan's book club is quite cute, isn't it? Because of the bees. Um, but I don't know, maybe I can make a book club that's not about like, Maybe it's just more of a group that we can chat in. I don't know. Maybe one day. Don't don't rule it out because I feel like that could be fun. But um, not right now. And my favourite vlog that I've ever filmed, probably our Disney vlogs in 2018, just because we had the most fun ever. It was like such an amazing trip. So probably those vlogs. But like any of our trips, like our Caribbean cruise, Norway, I loved filming. Disneyland Paris even recently. That was so fun to film with Benj. Any that are trips with Benj are normally my favourites. Is it difficult managing yourself? Would you ever have a manager again? Yes, it is difficult managing everything myself. I like the challenge though. I have my eye on a couple of companies that I would consider that I think are amazing and excelling in the space and have great teams and fully understand the influencer industry. Um, but right now I, I can do it all myself for now, which I know is not going to be forever. And right now Benj is obviously being able to support me a little bit, but I don't, I don't really want a manager. No, I don't want to give away 20% of my business when I can do it myself. <laughs> would you ever consider retraining or going back to education? Yes, I would. Absolutely. I actually recently downloaded Masterclass, um, which I've been really enjoying listening to. They're, a lot of them are CEOs or celebrities, but I've been enjoying their wisdom and knowledge and I take notes and I've been sort of like, yeah, like teaching myself little nuggets of wisdom. But uh, I would go back and do training. Yes, I never went to uni. I never did a degree. So um, I fell out of love with education. I was ready to start work once I finished my A-levels. But actually, you know, 10 years on, um, I would never say never. If the opportunity came up where I could study, train or learn uh, in something, then yes, I would. Can it get lonely being an influencer? Do you find yourself craving a social environment? Um, it can get lonely, yes. Yes, it can. But like I said, I have an incredible support system, friends and family, group chats, Benji, and um, I don't really crave that social environment. No, I'm very lucky to have lots of friendship um, groups or individual friends I see regularly. So I don't really um, miss the work environment. What other jobs have you had? Okay, I don't want this to go on forever. So I'm just gonna sort of like run through quickly because I have done a whole video on it once before, but I've been a waitress. I worked at WH Smith's. So I worked in retail. I then worked for a children and baby company like store so I ended up being the store manager and that was what I first did after I left school then I worked for a publishing company as the sales and features editor which I loved but they were a very small company with no room for me to grow so then I went over to Lush I worked at Lush head office and I was the administrator there I worked for two different departments but I worked in customer care and then I worked for um, the spa department and team after Lush I was an administrator full-time worked four days a week so on my fifth Day. I then worked at Go Ape as well, so I did both jobs at the same time for a bit. So I was an administrator, which I loved because I was really good at like paperwork and organising. That was for a children's care home business, so that was a lot of like um, DBS checks and paperwork and filing and stuff. And then Go Ape, I was an activity instructor, so I used to take people around the course, give them a safety brief, um, work on the children's course, that kind of thing. Brought me in some extra money in the summer. Then after that, I went and worked for an iced coffee company. I was the marketing manager. Um, I actually started in social media and then I worked my way up. Um, so I wasn't there for an awful lot of time because I ended up going self-employed because my YouTube channel started to take over and um, it wasn't fully enough to be a full-time salary. So I took on my final full-time, well, self-employed part-time role as a social media manager 
and I used to um, look after people's social media accounts. I had about 10 clients and I worked for a company that I freelanced for them. So I used to um, invoice them for my time. And then they um, eventually said to me, we need you to come on full time. And I had to make that decision, that crossroads moment. And I walked away from my freelancing role because I just couldn't couldn't give all my time to it um, because my YouTube channel took over. And that's when I became full time YouTube in 2017 or 18, was it? I can't remember when I left my um, freelancing job, but I still speak to my old boss, actually a few of my old bosses, um, but my last full-time boss I still speak to, she still watches all my stuff, and if I ever needed another job again, I'd go straight back to her, because <laughs> she's so lovely. Um, so yes, I'm very grateful, I've had some amazing jobs with amazing teams, I've done big company, corporate companies and smaller, small businesses. I learned a lot. I called it my university of life because I never went to uni, obviously. And so I learned everything I know now about business and marketing, social media, PR. I learned through all my different jobs, even the ones like Go Ape. I learned a lot through everything from good customer service to working with people, time management, teams, teamwork. Um, yeah, I did a lot. I've done a lot. <laughs> a lot of wellness questions come in around body image, health um, and that kind of thing. So uh, the first one was any new goals for September. I want to get back into some better routines because I lost them a little bit through the summer months. We've been, you know, it's been so hot and then we've been busy and we've been away. So I'd like to get into more regular routines in terms of like the going to the gym at the same time and day, having a gym class I go to every week, um, what days we have HelloFresh because we've been moving that around and just, yeah, getting back into some routines when I'm not traveling because I'm going to be traveling a lot in up and down to London in September. So when I'm not traveling, um, I'd like to have better structure in my days. <laughs> Tips for being confident in your body and life and not compare yourself to others. I had so many questions on this. I actually think I might need to do a whole video um, about body confidence and tips for confidence in general, but mostly it's come from a lot of experience and working on me, like Project Brogan. Who am I? What brings me joy? What are my core values? What's important to me? Where do I want to um, invest my time and energy and attention? And focusing on all those things has collectively made me a happier person because I don't give my energy into things that just don't serve me. I think I'm already naturally quite a confident person anyway, and I'm very lucky to have a really good support system that build me up, but I have shaped that, a lot of that. Like I have lots of female friends that are really focused on female empowerment and making each other um, better, and I'm with an incredible partner who um, encourages me to do the things that make me feel good, and he makes me feel good. So I think a lot of it, yeah, has come from working on my inner demons and I used to have a bit of a, a noisy brain that would sort of tell me otherwise and um, I've had therapy and I've read lots of self-help books I do my gratitude journal every day I listen to podcasts around sort of self-belief and confidence um, I do everything in my power that I physically can to help me but it, not every day is good some days I don't feel that good some days I don't feel body confident like I've not been feeling great recently all I can do is put more positivity in my life which is easier said than done but I do think I might need to sort of break this down a bit more into another video in the future can you please film a coil update I've just got one and your previous video helped oh thank you Georgia I haven't filmed an update because there isn't one like it would be the most boring video in the world because I'd say to you uh nothing's changed I've had it in for Oh my gosh, it's been three years. I think it might have been three years now and I have a five year coil. I have the Myrina coil, Marina, Myrina, Marina. My mum has it too. It's the hormonal one. And ever since I've had it in, I've had no pain, no period, no pregnancies, um, literally no problems, all the peas uh, at all. Yeah, I love it. It's changed my life. I've had no periods whatsoever. I could literally it's been brilliant. I feel like there's a lot of horror stories around contraception and like my friend Bianca is a massive advocate for um, being hormonal, uh, contraception hormonal free. Like she loves like not having anything and I admire that so much. I think you have to find what works for you. I spent 10 years on the pill, it worked for me and then I wanted something that was more permanent and so the coil felt like the best option. And yes, it hurt when I had it put in but once it was in, no worries. <laughs> this video has been so long enough, so let's just wrap up on a couple of favourites. So what are your favourite TV series lately? 
Um, we have just finished watching season two of Only Murders in the Building. It has been so good. Selena Gomez, Steve Martin, absolutely brilliant. They are all great. Uh, I thought season two was a bit slower in the middle, but then it did pick up towards the end and I loved the um, ending. Like, who killed her? I don't want to say in case any of you haven't watched it yet. Other than that, I've not really watched many other TV series. I want to watch the new not Selling Sunset, Selling the OC, is it? I want to watch that. Oh, and I loved the first season of The Kardashians on Disney+. Plus. I'm obsessed. I absolutely loved it. So can't wait for the second season coming in September. Editing me just jumping in because I cannot pass up the opportunity to tell you about a new show I've been watching called Partner Track. It's on Netflix. It's an American drama about a law firm and there's lots of like drama and sexual chemistry and gossip and it's just so gripping. I'm three episodes in and I have to tell you about it because if you love the similar shows to me like the bold type and emily in paris and like all those kind of things then you will like this it's it's good it's very good <laughs> i think that's it i've really not watched a lot of tv series so let me know if you have any recommendations i want to watch virgin river i've heard loads of people talk about that and i've never watched that before i think that could be a cozy winter watch but other than that got nothing on my list favorite games to play on the switch at the moment not animal crossing <laughs> um yeah we all exhausted animal crossing i did 350 hours can you believe that so i have loved luigi's mansion that's what i'm picking up and playing at the moment i'm on the eighth floor if you've played the game and you basically are just completing each level is a floor of an elevator in like a haunted mansion and it's very good but it is very hard and sometimes i have to youtube how to complete a level because i just don't know but i really quite like the challenge so i've been enjoying that and then disney have got a new game coming out called disney dreamlight so i've uh pre-ordered that it's coming out i think it's 6th or the 8th of september so i'm really looking forward to playing that i'll report back on instagram on how i get on editing me once again because i filmed this video quite a few weeks ago now and i have already been playing disney dreamlight valley and it is 10 out of 10 it's in early access and it's got a few bugs and glitches right now because it is brand new it will be free to everyone next year but i have been playing the beta version basically on the switch it was 24.99 for the basic version but i actually got the i think it's like the ultimate founders pack or something so I'm obsessed. I'm addicted. I love it. I've played hours and hours of it so far. It's got everything you could want in a game if you loved Animal Crossing. It's got the fishing, the mining, crop growing, building relationships like friendships with the Disney characters. You do tasks you can play it in your own way like you don't there's no like massive time restriction on completing tasks you can just do it in your own time it's honestly so good you just need to play it and talk to me about it i may do a video more about it lots of people have asked i'm not sure i really am not very good and technical on like getting my switch filmed and stuff but i'll look into it if you're interested but for now i'm talking all about it on instagram so do come over and follow me over there because it's been fun to talk about it your death row meal start a main dessert and drink oh that's a good one i love okay it's gonna be miller and carter basically it's my favorite date night place one of my favorite restaurants and they used to sell these little mini yorkshire puddings they were called like yorkies and they just tasted like a whole roast dinner in one little yorkshire pudding they were divine they're not on the menu at the moment but i hope they bring them back for the winter because they're incredible and then my main would also be from um miller and carter i love the fillet steak there with the onion loaf the lettuce wedge Everything about the meal there is incredible. I love it. For my dessert, don't know on dessert. There's so many choices. Uh, I don't know. My drink choice, oh, there's so many. I immediately want to think of Disney, like all the drinks I have there. Like the, the Violet Lemonade was incredible. My strawberry acai. I've had quite a lot of good drinks in Disney, so maybe it'd be somewhere there. <laughs> And that's it. That is all your lovely questions. There have been so many. I hope you've enjoyed this chit chat with me. If you have any other questions that I haven't managed to answer, just leave them below. I'd love to chat to you. And like I said, don't forget 30% off your Popser photo books with my code below. There'll be a link. You can download the app and give it a go and let me know how you get on. So thank you to them for sponsoring. Thanks for watching this vlog. See you again in my next ones. Have a good rest of the day. Bye. <laughs>